Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We're back at the zoo. The animals here are always so fun, and there's always so many different ways to practice our math. Like, right here. Look at this cute family of elephants. There are three adult elephants and two baby elephants. How many elephants are there in all? This is a word problem. We can use our brains to figure out how to solve it. Let's take a closer look at it. It says we have three adult elephants and two baby elephants. So, three and two. Let's write that down. Okay, now what do we do with these numbers? Do we add or subtract them? Hmm, let's take another look at the problem. The problem says in all. That's a clue that we need to add. And here, we have three elephants and two more elephants. Altogether, it will be a bigger number. <laughs> That's right, we need to add. <laughs> High five. So, we can write a plus sign here. We are solving three plus two. It's addition time. We can use our five frame for this. Here is our five frame. Let's put three circles for the three adult elephants and two circles for the two baby elephants. How many circles do you see? Well, the five frame is full. So, there are five circles here. That means three plus two equals five. So there are five elephants in all. <laughs> Amazing! What a mighty elephant family. Oh, whoa! Check out these seals. They are making so much noise. I think they're hungry. Zookeeper Ben brought five fish for the seals. The seals ate four fish. How many are left? Okay, this is another word problem. The problem says we have five fish. And the seals ate four, hungry little seals. So, five and four are our numbers. Let's write that down. Now, are we adding or subtracting? Let's look at the problem again. I see the word left, so that's a good clue that we need to subtract. We can check that to see if it makes sense. Zookeeper Ben brought five fish, and the seal ate four. So. The number of fish got smaller. Yes, we definitely need to subtract. Okay, so let's write a minus sign. Now, we can subtract. Let's use the five frame again. Here's the five frame. Now we need five circles for the five fish. So that means the five frame is full. Now, four fish were eaten. So we can take away four of the circles or cross them out. How many circles are left? Just one. That means that there is only one fish left for the seal to eat because five minus four equals one. Let's write that down. <laughs> Great job. So Chen just said he saw some chimps. He said there were two chimps putting on a show and then four more chimps came over to play. <laughs> How many chimps did Chen see in all? Okay, so Chen said he saw two chimps and then four more. So our numbers are two and four. Let's write those down. Are we adding or subtracting? Let's go back to the problem. I see the word more and the words in all. Those are the clues we need to add. And that makes sense because there were two chimps playing, and then some more chimps joined, so the number of chimps got bigger. <laughs> okay, so we need a plus sign here. Now let's add. Let's try using our fingers to help on this one. Okay, so first we need two fingers. One, two. Now, let's put up four more fingers. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, how many fingers do we have up in all? Well, this hand has five, and one more is six. So, six equals two plus four. We can write that down here. So that means Chen saw six chimps in all. <laughs> how fun! 
Chen also said he went by the penguin exhibit. He said there were seven penguins playing in the water, but then four got tired and took a nap. How many penguins were left playing in the water? Okay, let's figure this out. There were seven penguins and four got tired. So our numbers are seven and four. Let's write those. Are we adding or subtracting? Well, I see the word left in the problem. That's a clue that we are subtracting. Let's also think about the story. There were seven penguins and then four left to nap. So the number of penguins playing got smaller. That's definitely subtraction. Okay, so write a minus sign. Now let's subtract. Let's use a number line for this one. Here is a number line from one all the way up to 10. There were seven penguins to start, so let's find the number seven. Here it is. Now, four penguins left. So let's count back four numbers. One, two, three, four. What number did we land on? Three. So there were three penguins left playing in the water. <laughs> Seven minus four equals three. Amazing work. We solved so many math problems together at the zoo. We looked carefully for words and hints at the story to figure out if we needed to add or subtract. Then you used lots of different ways to add and subtract. A five frame, your fingers, and a number line. Keep practicing, mighty scholar. You're doing great.